Creating Global Sustainability, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 59. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 59, covering our team's progress, pictures, accomplishments, bullet points, everything that we've accomplished for the week of April 7th, 2014. As always, if you'd like more information on everything that I talk about, including links to all the open source content, complete details, please visit our One Community blog. And if you'd like to receive a weekly update every time one of these videos comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll put you on our email list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week, the core team, which consists of satellite and pioneer members, finished 25% of the science subject molecule, which you can see expanding in the background here. We also finished the last 10% of the needed English subject research and began the final image research. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on Highest Good Food created this Highest Good Food overview poster as we finished our Buckminster Fuller competition application. Uh, wish us luck on that. We also finished all 3D plant placements for the aesthetic and diversity focused Zen Aquapini design. Pictures are on this week's blog and we expect to have final concept renders for next week's blog. We also added 20 plant variety images and descriptions to the large-scale gardening page, uh, including coal crops, beets, celery, corn, cucumbers, eggplant, alliums, lettuce, peas, tomatoes, radishes, potatoes, squash, capsicum, melons, and parsnips. And all these also have uh, complete cultural considerations and planting guidelines included too. Behind the scenes, we have additionally completed sourcing, researching, and choosing all the specific plant selections for each of these species, which includes over 350 different varieties that we will be adding a species at a time to the large-scale gardening page. If you want to see the level of detail that we are creating for all these, check out that page right now as beans are already complete and you can see all those others that are outlined there too. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing created this overview image expanding in the background and outlining our complete highest good housing and energy approach. We also dove deeper into exploring thermal lag, loss, and our specific options for heating the homes within the Earthbag Village. Complete details are on this week's written blog on the website. And we finished about 50% of the Open Source Village Emergency Fire and Medical page. On top of this, Victor Herber designed and checked the stress load capabilities of the vermiculture toilet removable frame supports you see here. 
And Philip Gill produced this entertainment and dining dome custom furniture design that includes built-in seating and an entertainment center, a table for eating or socializing, shiffer robe, and ladder access to loft storage or sleeping area. In this area of the project, we are seeking a Wi-Fi network designer and a master plumber. If anyone would like to help or know someone who might like to help us finish this open source model. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week's visible progress for the Duplicable City Center comes from Carl Harris's continued work on the Sago elevations that you can see shown here. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team working on the highest good society component finished eight more pages of outlining version 1.0 of the custom and open source highest good network software. You can see this work here in the background and we're now about 80% complete with this outline so we can return to the creative coding process. Creating global sustainability is possible. And we think that the equation, the formula, the path to doing that is a simple one. If it's easy enough, if it's affordable enough, and if it's attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own across the planet and help more and more people to get involved who will help more and more people to get involved. And we're here to help that. We're here to make that, create that, and create that path to global sustainability as an open source path. The reason we're doing this is because we see that the answers, <clears throat> there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It's got to be adaptable. It's got to not only be adaptable to today's times, it's got to be adaptable for the future to address the problems that we don't even think about right now. It's got to be something that's going to work as well in Haiti as it does in India, as well as it does in the United States, as well as it does in Canada, as well as it does in Africa. You know, our idea is to create an open source foundation and platform that can be adapted to any environment. You know, so it starts with one village. You know, it starts with one education program. It starts with one highest good society model that people can come and experience, that people can put, get, their, get their hands on and, and live within, enjoy, and then if they like it, take it and rebuild it for themselves. To duplicate it either as the way that we've created it, using all of our open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints, or to build it different. But to have that foundation that foundation so they know how much it's going to cost, an idea of what the living experience is going to look like if they did it exactly the way that we did it, an idea of exactly how many hours, how many labor hours it's going to take if they were to get together a group of 30 people or 40 people or 20 people. Like, what is the time investment that people will be looking at? That's what we see as the necessary next step for creating global sustainability, defining all of these things, clearly defining them in a way that can be duplicated. So the people that want to duplicate it can and so that as in defining them, we can bring all those numbers down, we can bring all the costs down, we can bring all the labor hours down, we can make the whole system more efficient and start improving it so that human ingenuity, human creativity can do the rest. Build that foundation so that it can create and, and birth a host of new iterations of what it is that we're doing so people have a variety of different ways to participate. And then as we do that, we're going to take everything that we learn with the first village model as we build the next six and create a whole suite of sustainable infrastructure and living models that people will be able to apply in the ways that they feel best. And it's not just about teacher demonstration villages, cities, and hubs. It's also about just taking all of the individual components and providing those in a way that people can implement in their lives. Maybe somebody's not interested in a complete new lifestyle, but the idea of building an earth Earth Dome uh, guest house makes sense, or building an aquaponic system makes sense, or create, helping to form a community-based education program. 
every component that we design, everything that we're developing is meant to be implemented either as complete village infrastructure, complete with social architecture, education, highest good economics, all of those pieces, or to be implemented as individual components. This is what we're here to do. This is what we're creating. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if you're somebody who is, is into world change and wants to be a part of creating history, we invite you to join us. Get involved in what it is that we're creating. There's, and we've got a clear path, and we've put in tens of thousands of hours at this point, and years of work, and we have come a long, long way. And so as we continue to move forward, we're looking for those people that want to move onto the property with us and help build one community as one of our pioneer members, or join our consultants and partners team, uh, volunteers that are helping with all the details uh, outside of the core team, but equally as important, creating everything that one community is developing to be. And so, um, yeah, there's lots of different ways to participate. And of course, also the number one thing that we need right now is, is large scale funding to get the property off the market. If we could do that, we could share the location, which has specifically been chosen to expose one community to millions of people to be easily accessible, to be beautiful and desirable to visit before the infrastructure is complete so that we can start exposing people to everything that we're doing as, within the first few months of moving onto the property. As soon as we're established enough to start hosting people, bringing people out, helping them learn hands-on everything that it is that we're creating to get hands-on experience and sharing the experience of one community as it's developing. You know, we don't, we don't see this as something that really has the time to wait for three years or five years until a huge infrastructure is built. We want people to experience one community right now. And technically, people can experience one community right now if you want to be a part of the developmental process, the creative process, the design process, because that's what's happening. And the invitation is wide open. So, But we want people to be able to visit the experience of one community and specifically experience the highest good society aspect of it. The social architecture, the details that are outlined on our website that talk about a fulfilled living model where people get more of the things that they want and they have more time to invest in the things that they want to do with their friends and their family, even while creating all this world-changing infrastructure, being super productive and building all this amazing stuff. So this is what it is that we're doing. If you're a connector, if you're somebody, if you're a connector, if you're a creator, if you're a builder, a maker, if you're one of these people that likes to, to express themselves in things that others will use, then uh, get in touch with us. And if you're a connector and who knows somebody who might be interested in funding a project like this, either as a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or as uh, an investment in one community, help us get the property off the market, then that would be wonderful too. Those are the main things that we're focused on. So, And there's lots of different ways to follow and share our project. So we are on all of the different social media networks, as I say each week. Uh, we're on Pinterest. We're on LinkedIn. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We are on uh, Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on all of the different social media networks. And, of course, you can also subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to get a weekly update every time one of these comes out via email, you can send an email to one community updates at gmail.com and we will send you an email every time one of these updates comes out. So with that, I will say as always, thank you for following our project. Thank you for your support and uh, the emails and everything that we get, the suggestions, all of that is very much appreciated. And uh, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.